Okay, this video is going to go over how we can get input from a user. Uh, there are times when we need to, the user to tell us something, pretty much a lot of times, if you re recollect the commands we've been running so far, most of the times we've, we've specified some, some parameters on the command line uh, for the command to do things. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how, how we'll do that. First thing we'll look at is one way we can get input from a user, and that is to ask them a question. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna echo question, and that'll be whatever question you wanna ask. And then we'll re use read uh, to store that value in a variable. Notice that the read doesn't have the dollar sign on the variable, and then we'll echo uh, input to display the output of what's in that variable. So if I run input, I'll ask a question, I'll give it an answer, answer, and then I'm just echoing the answer. So uh, I don't want to run that again. So, you know, in the real world, we'll ask an actual question like, you know, do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Right? We'll read the input, which we might want to give this a variable name that's better uh, descriptive of what we are answering. Pizza answer. And then we'll, we will uh, input that. We'll uh, use that variable. So let's go run that. Do you like pizza? Yes. Yes. So uh, that that is uh, how you ask the user a question. Uh, one thing some people like to do is you put a dash in. Well, first, let's go run the command again. We notice the cursor goes down to the next line, and you put your answer here. Some people like for the cursor to stay on that line with the question, so you can do a dash in, dash in. And that causes the cursor to stay on the same line. It tells Echo not to print the trailing new line. So if we run this again, see my cursor is now up here on the question. So that's just a more aesthetically pleasing way to do it that some people some people like to do. Uh, another thing, you know, in this case, we're just echoing uh, the answer. Um, uh, later on, we'll, we'll do some things with the answer we get. So and this is a very simple case. So that is how we can ask the user questions. We print the question, we read their answer, and then we use that answer in, in, uh, in our code. Another way we can ask the user for uh, input is we can take things they tell us on the command line. So if you recall, we type, we type things like this, you know, all the time when we're running commands. So the, the command we run has to, to receive and process those extra parameters uh, in order to, to make use of them. So we're gonna do that um, at the command line. Uh, at the command line, when you enter a value, uh, it gets stored in a positional parameter. So the first thing you enter gets in dollar one. The second thing you enter gets put in dollar two. The third thing you enter gets put in dollar three. The next thing you enter gets put in dollar four. So in this case, I'm just going to run my script, and all it's going to do is echo those positional parameters. So if I put something in one, um, it's going to print. Uh, what was in one, and then it prints three blank lines because I didn't put anything in, in those other variables. So if I put four things in, it prints all four of them. If I put five things in, it doesn't print the fifth because I just told it to do four. I hard-coded those four positional parameters in there. Um, a thing to be careful about with positional parameters you know, say for example, uh, one of your positional par parameters has a space in it. So, say I'm, I'm entering food and I want to say french fries. By default, those get split up based on the spaces. So, if you have uh, something that you're entering that has a space in it, you need to, to protect that, that space when you're doing positional parameters to force it into one 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 position. So in this case, I entered one B's and then French fries in double quotes. Well, that was cool. French fries in double quotes and I got into the third positional parameters. There's one other thing uh, that we want to look at 
and I'm hoping I get the variable right. There's another special variable that includes uh, all the variables that you enter, and I think it is dollar at sign. I intended to look this up before I started the video, but then I got distracted and forgot. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's a dollar at sign. This is going to print all the positional parameters. So yeah, so if we go back and put some words in here, all parameters. If we go back and put some words in here, this uh, this dollar dollar at sign has all of the parameters in in it. So then we can we can use that later on uh, to process those one by one once we learn about loopings, loopings, looping. So those are the two ways we are going to get user input in this class. One way we're going to ask some questions. Um, the other way we're going to take it off of the command line. So that's how we get user input.